Hey what is up guys it is Shazad here back with another video and today I have my tutorial on how to install the S4 Revolution ROM version 12 on your Galaxy S3 GTI 9300 so without any further ado let's jump right into this first things first make sure you have taken your backup of your current ROM uh, if you in case if you don't really like uh, the S4 Revolution ROM uh, version 12 you can basically move back to whatever ROM that you were running uh, running on your device itself so make sure you have taken your full backup of your apps and data that you don't really want to lose so make sure you have taken the backup bef before attempting any kind of ROM installations so the next thing that I'm gonna do here is just click on the link in the description and it will take you to the XDA page of the S4 Revolution ROM and download the uh, uh, download the latest version of the S4 Revolution ROM from there. In my case, it is right now in the version 12, so ha I have already downloaded that. Just downloaded it. Uh, da just download it and uh, just move it to your internal or external SD card, whichever you prefer. So once you have successfully copied uh, the ROM file itself into your device. The next thing that I'm gonna do here is just uh, boot your phone into the recovery mode. And uh, for the uh, for booting your Galaxy S3 into the recovery mode, you have to press the volume up, home, and the uh, uh, power key at the same time. But uh, just because I am running CM10.2 here right now, I have the option to directly reboot my phone into the recovery mode. So I'm gonna click on that and reboot my phone into the recovery mode. And uh, the one uh, there is a small tip for you guys. If you are running the clock of mod recovery just like mine, make sure you update your recovery before attempting any kind of installation process itself. Uh, if you are running the clock of mod recovery and want to update your recovery, just go ahead and download the CWM app from the Play Store and just update your recovery if you don't really want any kind of errors into in the installation process itself. So once you have booted into the recovery, go ahead, go to the white cage, factory these reset, and just click on yes, and it's gonna just wipe all the uh, cage and wipe all the data from your device and make it clean so this is the first step for having a stable ROM for on your device and the next thing that you're gonna do here is just click on wipe cage partition and click on yes and now go to the advance and scroll down where it says wipe Dalvik cache and by the way for navigating your uh, navigating uh, between here you have to press the uh, volume keys for up and down and the power or power rocker itself uh, power button itself to select any kind of option so once you have cleared these three things the next thing you're gonna do here is just click on install zip and then uh, choose uh, whether the path uh, you have copied your uh, s4 revolution rom itself if you have copied your uh, rom itself into the sd card click on choose zip from internal sd card and if you are copied from uh, copied it to the external SD card, click on choose zip from storage SD card one or whichever it says like external SD and all that stuff. So it'll just gonna just check uh, the file itself. And now scroll down where it says S4 Revolution ROM and click on yes. Now you will be booted into the Aroma installer itself. It is a really really easy process with uh, ROM installation process just because with the help of the Aroma installer itself. So once you have opened it, click on next and make sure you check the terms and conditions from the ROM developer itself. And here is a little change log. Click on next and uh, it is upon you if you really want to make the EFS backup. I'm gonna just make a backup here. And uh, this is a main step. If you uh, make sure you click on full wipe data partition. Uh, if you in case if you want to have a full stable ROM and I'm sure that everyone needs that um, to do that there is a little add-on apps just like the Nexus 5 camera and gallery and all share group play so I'm gonna check on that and click on next and here are some of the Blockbuster app that you can uninstall uh, that you can uh, just uncheck the app that you don't really need so I'm gonna click on clipboard service DIVX support Dropbox I don't really need Dropbox I'm gonna click on uh, FM radio keys support then I don't really need Samsung email app mobile print support page buddy Samsung app services gear support live wallpaper as voice as cloud direct share and mirroring Samsung's track calendar I don't really need that okay I'll check that as note from the note 2 and the clock app itself so I have, I have selected some of the broadwares that I need, need basically 
and for the G apps you can uncheck the apps that you don't really want to be as your system application so I'm gonna just click on uh, uncheck the Google Play games here and in the next we have some of the widget selections here I'm gonna just let it be as so in for the modem I don't really want any kind of modem because if I install any kind of other modems onto my device uh, it will be stuck in uh, when, when the time now uh, I will gonna make when the time I'm, I'm just going to make a phone calls with my cell phone it will say like you're not registered on network so uh, for the modem itself I just want to say that uh, no I don't really want to install that thing but if you want you can select any kind of modem such you want for your device and for the kernels there are lots of lots of kernels available but I'm gonna just choose the stock mk 6 pack and for the uh, there is a volume hack itself so uh, click on no if you want to have a clear sound and for the browser I prefer to have the S3 browser itself and for the camera I have said this in the full review itself make sure you choose the note 2 camera because it has a little bit kind of better interface as compared to the stock S3 camera plus it has some of the uh, note 2 ported features like the slow motion and fast motion recording itself so I'm gonna click on the note 2 camera click on next and uh, you can prefer the launcher grid size itself I'm gonna choose the 5x4 now and uh, if you want you can flash story album or click on no and here are some of the other add-ons from the note 3 here is a uh, s translator i don't really need that s finder s health morning bloomberg okay click on next and here is some of the external uh, internal sd script available so i'm gonna click on no not to flash any kind of script and now you are basically uh, uh, just successfully done with all the steps now click on next and it will just gonna install that ROM for you. So I'm gonna just make it a little bit fast forward now. Alright guys, so we are finished with the installation process of this ROM. I'm gonna click on next and uh, just click on check on it will be automatically checked like uh, reboot your device now. I'm gonna click on reboot and it is just gonna reboot my device. So here is a little annoying bug that I always see when the time I install S4 Revolution ROM onto my device. It doesn't really boot up and I have seen this problem in uh, some of the other custom ROMs itself. So if your device doesn't really boots up, I know it doesn't really boots up uh, every time I first time install this and first time boot my device. So what you're gonna do here is just just hit the volume key, press and hold this, and uh, it'll just gonna reboot your device. It is gonna just automatically reboot as well. So now I'm sh pretty much sure that uh, it'll gonna reboot and start your device now. So we are pretty much up here Android system is upgrading right now and that's pretty much it guys that is how you can basically easily install the S4 Revolution ROM onto your Galaxy S3. If you run into any kind of issue make sure you drop your comments in the comment section of this video and I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, if you did don't forget to leave this video as a like freebie and subscribe to my channel for these kind of other videos as well. And thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys soon in the next one. Bye-bye now.